It is here. It is total recall. Don't get your ass to Mars. Get your ass to the reversal. We got a reversal. It's an early reversal. So if you see it on a red, you wait till green, and then you verify, and then there we go. So this is an early reversal. Here's an early reversal. Here's an early reversal. Here's an early, well, one bar pullback. Here's an early reversal. Well, pullback. Here's an early reversal. So if it's green, you wait for the red, and then you hop in. If it's red, you wait for the green, and then you want to verify it's going the right way before you do a damn thing. Because, uh, you know, continuity. Because I don't want to risk my money. So, what is this thing? Well, this is something that I noticed. This may be something that's already out there. I don't know. You let me know in the description. But uh, I didn't see it. So, well, fuck it. I look at other reversal indicators and they're missing a lot of the ind indications that I'm getting off of this. So, uh, it's basically a break of structure or a change of character that failed. The bright candles on my screen are called vector candles. It's basically high volume candle. So when you have a lot of people rejecting a level and it's like, eh, maybe we're not going to go that way. For example, we're going low and then we decide to go really high and we want to go to the moon, boys. It is time. All of the people have voted. Let's go to the moon. And then, whoopsie, we have a change of character line right here. Can we uh, go through this? Is that okay? Eh, I guess the answer is no. And you'll see in the chart prime, change of character it highlights it red for yeah that didn't work out homies <laughs> that didn't work out over here it's yellow for yeah that didn't work out homies but i mean you could just use this instead of this but it's not the same i mean this one says yellow and yet that is a full reversal um so you know grab whatever uh, grab whatever smart money concepts thing you like so, yeah, we tried to get a higher high, we tried to go to the moon, and we got a vector candle that said no. Uh, same thing right here. We were going to the floor, boys. We're going to Hades, right? So we have a change of character, break of structure here, to where we should have stopped here and then continued on, but it didn't. It stopped here and then voted, I want to go the other way. So you have an early reversal. Early reversal, early reversal. Now, and early reversal. So obviously, this thing does flag things pretty decently. So let's turn this other shit off so you don't... Okay. So it does flag things pretty decently. Now, this is obviously going to depend upon your your time and the stock that you're looking at in this case we're looking at the nasdaq boys looking at the nasdaq so the usage of this by the way this is included in the new to method 1.9 available on the google drive so what's the usage of this thing first off let's look at the options you have used bollinger bands wicking that's basically that your wick was so large, that's what she said, that it actually penetrated, that's what she said, the Bollinger Bands. So that is going to be what that means. Volume-based candles mean I show you vector candles. You can turn it off if you don't care about vector candles and you just want the happy results. So let's do that for now. Let's just look at the happy results, shall we? So, we got green, 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 and then we just kind of waft the other direction. We did get a liquidity grab here. Ain't nobody going to be able to figure that out with code. Eh, it's a liquidity grab. You got grabbed. You should have used an ATR stop up here, whatever. But once the next candle's going down, then, eh, maybe this is something I want to look at. Obviously, if you want to be a little more paranoid... Then you want to wait a couple more candles. That's cool. Over here, for example, you have a green candle with another green candle. And there's a massive space in between these. 
and the massive space is a sign of strength, massive sign of strength. So if I see we're going the other way, that's cool, but I see this gap, and then this next candle has a gap in it, I'm definitely going to be in, and then put my stop, obviously, tight uh, down here, uh, but yeah. So there we go. There's your early reversal system, you know, and this thing is pretty good at finding pullbacks when there is a pullback. So if you have a big trend and you're looking for a little bit of a pullback, well, there you go. Sometimes it's only one bar. Sometimes it's not. So there's that. But basically just, basically just keep your eye out for a possible reversal. And that's it. Keep your eye out for a possible reversal. And this just says, hey, you know, pay attention. So here we go. Possible reversal here. And the red indicates we're wicking Bollinger Bands. And we have a pretty strong green candle out of the box here. So that's that. <coughs> Excuse me. That's going to be a bullish engulfing there. Bullish engulfing candle. We got two reds that failed. And then after the bullish engulfing candle, we're still going up. So maybe I go ahead and enter on this candle right here, right? Be a little cautious. Take your time. Don't just be a trained, just a, a trained monkey and just press a button when you see this, right? Same thing here. We have a strong red candle. Let's see if that works out. A doji, green, not good. But the good part is, is the green is lower than the original candle. And then we have a reverse hammer sign of selling. Go ahead and get in on the reverse hammer sign of selling. Get your profits over here. Uh, same kind of thing here. We got green, 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 green. Then we got a red. So this is the first red candle out of the box. However, it's a doji. I don't do anything on a doji. I never do anything on a doji. I do not do anything on a doji. So I wait. Next one's green. I'm still waiting. And then, whoa, massive rejection of the upside. They do not want to go to the upside. And then we sort of meander around here. And uh, that's when I'd go ahead and put a stop here and get in on a short. Over here, uh, we have green, green. We have a red candle going down. We have another one, but then we have a green candle that remaps this level. So I'd be like, eh, I'm not going to do that one. Same thing right here on the third candle. We're sort of remapping the area we just escaped from. So no, I'm not going to do that over there. Green, 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 red. Micro double top. Ooh, that is just beautiful, boys. I love a micro double top. And I am going to go ahead and get in basically when I see this thing going down. So we're going down one candle, two candle. Now we're retracing, and now we're going down with another candle. So risk it for the biscuit. I'd be in on this candle. I put a stop, pretty, pretty low tolerance stop since we're going up and down right here. Get in here and then ride the wave. So there you are with a couple of examples of kind of how to do this. Always be paranoid. Always be aware of your circumstances. And don't just press the button because I can press the button. Green, green, green. So now I have a possible reversal. I have a micro double top. Ooh, love me a micro double top, especially a gravestone. I'll take it. Reverse hammer. I'll take it. The minute I see this next candle going down, go ahead and put a stop here and engage and this next candle. So, early reversal system, obviously not something you just press the button and go, but it does flag some really good stuff, especially when we have a micro double top. We wait a few candles, one, two, three, four, five, six. After the sixth candle, that looked like a pretty solid long, man. I mean, we're clearly going up. So go ahead and put a stop here just to be paranoid, get in on this candle, and then just ride the wave. So, that is the early reversal system. Where I get this fancy thing you say? Go here to my Google Drive. Total Recall. Select all with Control A or Command A. You want to copy with Control C or Command C. I'm going to go over here into the Pine Editor and click it and do that. And do an open new indicator. Wipe all of this shit out. It should be completely blank and paste. You always want to scroll to the top and make sure that version equals 5 is up top. Some people have reported that when they copy paste, it'll put some extra garbage up here. You want to make sure this looks exactly like I'm showing you right now. We click save.
We name it Total Recall from the Fat Boy. Total Recall from the Fat Boy. Hit save. Wait till it compiles and then add to Chart Boys. And you have the official Total Recall version 1. Hopefully you like it. Let me know how your trip to Mars was. And thank you for watching.